Hey guys, how's it going? It's Fishy Fish here, coming out to you with a brand new episode of Nothing Harder. If you don't know what the show is about, basically I play every single character in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U in the classic 9.0 difficulty, also known as Nothing Harder. And today, we have the character Rob. And it was suggested by the lovely people appearing on the screen right now. Anyway, so today we got a great episode for you today. Uh, and it's a great shame that this was actually the recording that I managed to defeat the mask everything on because I did such better recordings and I just lost stupidly at the very end like I won where I did amazing gameplay and I may actually put it in right now Game. basically what it did it was uh I just destroyed Dr. Mario oh my god like I <laughs> it's it's great anyway uh, uh Rob's a really cool character I mean He's really fun to play with, actually. Like, his moves are just really fun to use, and, um, just, they're, like, he's just a fun character, I think. He's kind of forgotten, because, to be honest, I kind of forgot, or forget that he's in the game, and there, by Wario, later, dude. I kind of forget that he's in the game, just because there's so many other iconic characters, and also the new ones that are out. You kind of forget about the old ones, and especially since Rob is kind of a random character that not many people know where he's from, because he was an accessory, and people like me, who wasn't actually, I wasn't even alive when he came out so you know it's or was i no, no uh but <laughs> i don't even know when he came out but still he's a very interesting character and he's just fun to play with to be honest but he, since he's forgotten i feel like not as many people pick him up as much that's just my opinion I, that's what that's what happens with me because i don't play much in this game but when i picked him up to play nothing harder today I had a lot of fun playing with him because he has a lot of cool moves to use, um, all different. One thing though that I don't like is his, most of his aerials actually have a bit of like build up. Is that that's the word I'm looking for? So they don't actually do damage right away. You actually have to time it right, which is actually makes it pretty difficult. There goes Sheik by Sheik. It makes it pretty difficult to actually hit some of those moves. But when you do, it is the most satisfying thing ever. And like I, I said earlier. Excuse me, I just burped though. I, like, I said earlier that I like characters that have a challenge behind them. So Rob is a really fun character because that challenge of getting that meteor smash, getting that back air, really cool, lots of fun. So thank you for suggesting them, and here we go. So I'm already, I've already taken out two characters, and basically by being lucky, to be honest. And his recovery is great, as you'll see, but unfortunately they changed it, like in, in Brawl, what happened was that as soon as he touched the ground, his, his jet fuel for his up B actually automatically, in, like, uh, got full if you touched the ground after using it. But in this game, it slowly refills, so if you recover and then land and then get knocked off the stage, your recovery won't be as good than when you get back. And I got big here, but Bowser's being annoying and not letting me take advantage of it. Uh, still big, use the, the, the rocket, but I don't unfortunately get, make good use of that, uh, Mega Mushroom. But here we go, back air, fortunately missed, and Bowser is going to be a pain. But, you know, you'll see, I'm charging up my forward smash, missing, up smash, keeps on missing. Dear, his, I really like his down B, because it's really cool, you'll see, I'll, t I'll talk about more later in the master forms, but, oh, yikes, there we go, Palutena, get out of here. Uh, but it's... <laughs> You'll see, I'll talk about more when I actually when it comes to it, but you'll see that, oh, yeah, that was a cool back air, but you'll talk, I'll talk about more, you'll see what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'll stop rambling because I'm so interested in the gameplay, and I'll just say a few things. First of all, I had, I did just move out of, I was living in res, and I just moved out of there, so I'm actually in a different place now, so the quality of videos may differ. Because I have different equi like not equipment, but like I now have a tripod for my mic and stuff. So you may see differences in my videos for this bit. So I'm home for the summer basically. So you'll you'll see there might be a difference if anyone notices any. But don't worry, because that's only a good thing because I will have much more videos coming out. I also have a very exciting 1,000 subscriber special, too, actually. So get look forward to that. It's going to be really cool. It's, it's a con One of them is a contest. One of them is just a special video. So look forward to that. It's going to be super great because I am very close to 1,000 subscribers. I am just about 45. At the time of recording this, I'm 45 away. So that's really exciting. Yikes, Pac-Man. This Pac-Man gives me a huge, big, hard time here. So, anyway, before I run out of time, I don't want to run out of time for the video questions, so I'm going to start answering the questions now. And so, the questions today... Oh, sorry, if you don't know what questions are, 
if you, obviously I'm assuming you know what questions are, but what I mean by questions in this is that in the comments below, I want you guys to ask me any questions you want. It can be absolutely anything. Uh, I will select three every video that they pertain as long as they uh, in or dr draw out a cool response for me. So I, I hand select them all. And uh, today we have three questions, and the first one today comes from, let me open it up, SQRT, who asked me, ever thought of doing live commentary on these? So that's a good question, and I have thought about that in the past. And the reason why I don't actually do live commentary, not be it, it's mainly because it does take me multiple tries to do this. So if I were to do live commentary, unless I actually do it on my first try, it'll feel really stale because... Um, if it takes me like six tries to do it on my sixth try, the live commentary will be of me already having played as the character six times and getting as far as or whatever. So it may just be me getting frustrated or whatever. So live commentary is interesting. I may, I, I'm going to experiment that in other potential video series as well. But right now, there is no live commentary in Nothing Harder, just because when I do fail, it, it kind of makes the game, the, the commentary stay. So that's my only reason why I don't do live commentary. I might do one with like a cam or something, I don't know. That could be cool in the future, but for now, I'm gonna keep it to commentary after the video. So thanks SQRT for the video, for the comment question, and we're gonna go on to the next one. Ready? So the next go. question comes from Loex Schultz. I believe that's the way you pronounce that? I'm not entirely sure. And this Olimar, oh my god. Let me also mention that I hate intruders now because they are, I call them like run breaking, because technically this is like a run. But when I get like a giant uh, competitor, it's basically over. There's not much you can really do. And this villager also, his timber, you'll see like, you'll see how much problems I have with this setup right here. But that uh, little sprout right there caused me a lot of problems, you'll see. But anyway, this comment comes from Loic Schultz. And his question is, who is the hardest dark form master and crazy hand? Master giant, master beast, master edges, master shadow, or master fortress? That's a good question, actually. So, I... Yikes, I hit that. I watched that X-Bomb. So, there are seven forms of Master... Seven? Six. Six. Master and Crazy Hand. Five. Six. Well, it doesn't matter. I, I don't want to count. I don't want to waste the time counting. But anyway, the, the, dark, the hardest form, in my personal opinion, is Master Edges. And the reason why I talked about before... That it does give me a hard time solely because he has many that one move that that he t pulls out really quickly may and very hard to avoid so that can really just take a stock away from you super easily so that's why i think he's the hardest form um i generally that's where i would die if i'm at higher percentage but oh yeah get out of here Olimar. even though you're my main you're my boy but i love you and everything bro but you got your metal so i don't like you and yeah get out of here with that shell so that's why I think the hardest form, in my personal opinion, is Master Edges, solely because he has many moves that he can destroy me with, as well as that one where he separates and slashes and has a final slash at the end. I find that move really hard to hit, uh, really hard to avoid nowadays, because if you miss it once, you're basically dead, because it's hard to avoid. And me fighters, you'll see, is very difficult with Rob as well. Anyway, thanks, Lok Schultz, for that question. The answer obviously being Master Edges, that's my personal opinion. Master Shadow doesn't give me any problems. Master Giant can be a kind of a pain, but I, basically at this point I know all their moves, so I know how to avoid them. But still, I think Master Edges, of, of how many I avoid, of like the percentage of how many I avoid, that is the one where I uh, get hit the most. You could probably see, if you see my original videos, you'll actually see what I'm talking about. Anyway, thank you for the question. We're going to the next one. The last question for today comes from Leon Clements, and his question is, do you have any interest in doing a Thor Glory series? And what's your opinion on it? Many people have mixed opinions. So Thor Glory is something that I haven't played much with because at my original place where I just moved out of, I my internet wasn't actually set up, so I couldn't play Smash Online. So if I wanted to do a Thor Glory series, I wasn't able to. Now I can because I have my I have working internet here. So you'll see, um, I may do some Four Glory things in the future, but I'm not entirely sure about a series. If you guys would want to see me do some, some kind of series, I'm sure I can think of something pretty interesting, such as, you know, uh, I just play a character and I have a random handicap, such as I cannot use the B button, or I can't shield, or I can't grab, or something like that, or I can only grab. So that could be pretty cool, like a Four Glory challenge mode, and I see like who, how many I can actually win, like what percentage I can win. That could be a cool uh, video series, and I can go through every character, such as Nothing Harder. 
but let me let me know what you guys think that let me know if you think that's interesting because definitely um oh just disrespecting that me right there with the meteor smash but definitely if you if you're interested in seeing the videos like that let me know in the comment section below because easily enough i can do those videos easily enough and i think they'll be fun definitely if you guys want to see them i can definitely provide because i think that'd be lots of fun and it'll be fun to watch fun to make so win-win total overall Anyway, thanks Liam for the question, and we're done with questions, guys. So we're going to go on to the final battle against Master Ed Crazy here. And what we're going to see here is Rob. I don't know. I feel like he wasn't that great solely because of those the back air and the down air that normally are reliable moves in my it, for other characters to uh, do a lot of damage, which I so I'm used to using them. But since they come out pretty slow, uh, they're not too reliable. But when you have an opportunity, it's good to use them. And also. When you're when you're taking on these characters, it's very important to know. Ooh, yikes! I'm already at 80%. It's important to know that you don't want to do moves with a lot of ending lag. Even though it's a really powerful move, if it leaves you wide open, you can die quite easily. So it's good to avoid doing attacks like that. But anyway, here we go. I charge up my down B, and what you're going to see me here, what what you're going to see me do here is just obviously rack up a lot of damage. Um, Someone suggested in the comments, I can't remember, I don't have the actual comment out with me right now, but someone suggested that when that comes along, I jump off the edge and then recover, use my recovery back on. Uh, I did, I'll tell you right now, ooh, yikes, Master Giant took me up. I did do that on some of my other recordings. I'm not sure if I do it on this one. Uh, you'll have to wait and see. Oh, speaking of which, there you go, there I go. So yeah, that's a good method if you want to avoid that attack completely. I would generally be taking a few hits, but, or, or just hoping that they, it would work out in a way that... It wouldn't hurt me, but uh, fortunately, I it does. It's a really reliable method, but obviously, don't do it with people like Little Mac. Anyway, what you're gonna see me do here is with my down B, the uh, what's it called? The I don't know what it's called. The spinny disc thing. If you use it, it actually has a lingering hitbox. So it's see, it, as I hit him with there, he's gonna come back and it will hit him again. And that was actually what took him out right here. So with, if you want to do it with Rob, it is very important to know that actually that is a very easy method of racking up damage on Master on some of the Master forms, like Master Giant and Master Beast. If you just launch your little, um, ooh, yikes, that, that was a heavy hit. If you launch your spinner, I can't remember what it's called, but if you launch that, then it will do uh, quite a lot of damage. This is the move that I talked about that I really dislike. Fortunately, I would have died from that, but I managed to get out and do an air dodge and take him out with an up air. I did actually die in Master. <laughs> I got wrecked by a Master Shadow earlier. But see, I have that lingering hitbox out and it does do a little bit of damage. So with Rob, it's a pretty cool move actually. I never I never thought about it really, but I, I, I really like that move. It's good against these forms because it racks up damage if they just touch it. So it, I think it's a really good, reliable method of taking out a lot of health on these Master forms. That's just my tip. I'm, I keep on trying to give tips every time I do these videos. So, just so maybe if you guys are trying to do the same thing, you can learn from whatever I learned when I did this. Anyway, taking out the Master Forms and bring on the Master Fortress. Obviously, I'm going to take the heart because I'm at 125%. And that was a very close match, but unfortunately, I take him out. Rob, unfortunately, doesn't have a reliable way of taking out these, th these guys with a quick aerial. I found out. So, it makes it a little tricky compared to how I normally do it because generally, I would use a neutral air to take out these guys, but I'm at 1%. Oh, no, 1%. Hopefully, I don't get any higher than that. <laughs> I already know the ending. But, uh, see, as you see here, it, there's no really quick way of taking out these guys, but I just keep on hitting them because I want them. I don't want them to shoot through the walls and just rack up more damage to risk me losing. Even my neutral air doesn't take them out, so I find the up smash was a good way of just getting rid of those guys. You just want them out of the way just so they don't launch and ruin your day because they've ruined many of my days. I'll, many many of them so it's good to take them out and i still don't know what their name is i don't even know what episode this is but i still don't even know what those enemies names are they're from kid Icarus or something i'm pretty sure anyway the first half of master fortress has been defeated we are going on to the next one still one percent not too shabby i'd say i really like rob like i said i really like him it did take me quite a few tries um it did take me quite a few tries i think i said that on my voice crack it did take me a few tries to do with rob but I really enjoyed playing with him, and I think I'm going to start trying to play with him a little bit more because I kind of just disregarded him because he was a character that, you know, not not from anything, doesn't really, like, appeal to me. But now that I've actually played as him quite a bit, doing this nothing harder, I really like the character. So I might use him quite a bit more in um, 
in things, I don't know, like against my friends and stuff. But Almar's still my boy, don't worry, don't, of course, no, he's not, Rob is not replacing my boy in the main section. Also, I wanted to quickly mention, I will do nothing harder Olimar last, so don't bother mentioning him in the comments because he is automatically going to be the last character that I do. If anyone suggests it and you notice it, you can link them to this video so that they know that that's the case because Olimar is last and Rob here is taking out this Master Fortress and he is gone, ending with 1%. Wow, what a gripping ending. Sorry, I brought up a little extra note there at the end, but whatever. So guys, I want to thank you so much for watching another episode of Nothing Harder. Make sure you guys click the like button, share the video, as well as comment on the video who you, th who you want to come next. Definitely remember, every video, every comment is considered. And I'll see you guys in the next one. As Rob slowly takes out the Master Fortress, I'll see you later. Bye, guys.